Well, we have a man who's going to be a great senator, and I, I, I'm very happy with that. I spoke to him last night. I never met him. I never spoke to him. Uh, I'm very happy with him. Uh, and I have to say, Luther came a long way from the time I endorsed him, and he ran a good race. But Roy ran a really great race. And uh, I know what they did with Mitch, and they used him very much in the campaign. But he works hard, and uh, I'm sure things will work out. I, I just wanted to say, though, on health care, we have the votes for health care. We have one senator that's in the hospital. He can't vote because he's in the hospital. He can't vote because he's in the hospital. We have two other votes that are coming, and we will have them. But the problem is we can't have them by Friday because the reconciliation ends on Friday. So we'll have to do it in January or February. But I feel we have the votes. I'm almost certain we have the votes. But with one man in the hospital, we cannot display that we have them. Plus, some people want to go through a process just to make themselves feel better. That's okay. Who is the hospital? Who are you referring to? We're talking about health care. We're talking about health care. I was looking into it, and I will look into it. And I will tell you personally, I'm not happy about it. I am not happy about it. I'm going to look at it. I am not happy about it, and I let him know it. Do you have confidence in Secretary Price? Uh, we'll have to, you'll have to ask Senators about that. No, you're going to have to ask Senators. So here's what I'm just saying. We're going right now to Indiana. We're going to introduce a tax plan that's the largest tax cut essentially in the history of our country. It's going to be something special. You already know some of the numbers. We're going to give you some of the additional numbers. But on health care, we have the votes. We can't do it now because we have somebody in a hospital. And we have great respect for that gentleman, by the way. He's been a, he's a fantastic man. We are going to the he's a yes, that's right. Why is that? Sir, who's in the hospital? What senator are you referring to? Come here and vote. In other words, he can't come here and vote because he's in the hospital. Who is in the hospital? So here's sir. The story. Wait, wait, let me just say yes. Yeah. In the hospital. So we're going to do it in January or February because, as you know, we have the votes, but we, we can't go longer than Friday. What we're going to do is we will do the block grants, we will do the health care, we will get uh, a longer process going for the couple of people that did want to see more process, even though they're yes vote. But very importantly, I am also, during this period of a couple of months, I'm also going to meet with Democrats and I will see if I can get a health care plan that's even better. So I will negotiate with Democrats, but from the Republican standpoint, we have the votes. We'll vote in January, February, or March. What about executive order? Are you considering an executive order? I am considering an executive order on associations, and that will take care of a tremendous number of people with regard to health care. And I'll probably be signing a very major executive order where people can go out, cross state lines, do lots of things, and buy their own health care. And that will be probably signed next week. It's being finished now. It's going to cover a lot of territory and a lot of people, millions of people. Yes, well, the we have the we have John, go ahead. Uh, I think we're there now, John. I'll be honest. You look at the uh, statement put out by Alaska, by right? You saw that by Lisa. Uh, you look at the other couple of statements. You know, we're only we're only one off, maybe two. But we can't vote now, John. You probably didn't hear me because, as you know, one of our yes votes is in the hospital. I can't take. I can't wait. I can't take him out of the hospital. I do have confidence in him. Yes. I do have confidence. Even though he's get but it's really not up to me, it's up to the Senate. But I do have confidence in him. I will say they used him in the race, and I was very honored by the way I was treated in the race, but they used him in the race. John, they used him in the race. And, uh, you know, but one of those. Mr. President, on tax reform, does your plan help the wealthy too much? My plan is for the working people, and my plan is for jobs. You wouldn't benefit under your tax plan? No, I don't benefit. I don't benefit. In fact, in fact, very, very strongly, as you see, there's no, there's, I, I think there's very little benefit 
for people of wealth. The state tax is one of the things, and that's if you look at it, for farmers and people with small business. Mr. President, what do you say to the things that more and more have been said in the past? This is uh, wrong to be gay. This is the most member of Congress who doesn't deserve to have that. Can you explain the red and yellow? Talk about people. I don't see it, but we'll talk to you about that at a different time. So here's the point. Are you worried? Are you the point is. Is such a firebrand that says it's controversial things? The point not? is this. Health care, we have it, we have the votes. Because of reconciliation, we have to wait till January, February, or March, which we'll do. But in the meantime, I will negotiate with Democrats to see if we can make a bipartisan bill. Yes, John. A very much a red line. In fact, I wanted to start at 15 so that we got 20. It just, the numbers were, 15 was so low, we didn't take in the revenue. But I wanted 15, so we got 20. 20 is my number, so I'm not negotiating that number. I really, I am not going to negotiate. That's the number I wanted to get to. I wanted to start at 15 to get there. We really had to start there because of the complexity of the numbers. But 20 is a perfect number. On Puerto Rico, Mr. President, why not lift the Jones Act like you did in Texas? In well, we're thinking about that, but we have a lot of shippers and a lot of people and a lot of uh, people that work in the shipping industry that don't want the Jones Act lifted. And we have a lot of ships out there right now. And I will tell you, the governor was very generous yesterday with his statements. And so was the mayor of San Juan, very, very generous with their statement. So we have a lot of people, and I'm going there on Tuesday, as you probably have heard. And Puerto Rico is a very difficult situation. I mean, that place was just destroyed. That's not a question of, gee, let's dry up the water, let's do this or that. I mean, that place was flat. That is a really tough situation. I feel so badly Mary for the people. Mary asked a question about the updated travel ban. Yeah. First of all, can you explain to us why she banned the balloons? And second of all, how does the travel ban work in North Korea that doesn't allow them to Well, the people, them? yeah, the people allowed certain countries but we can add countries very easily and we can take countries away. And as far as the travel ban is concerned, whatever it is, I want the toughest travel ban you can have. So I'll see you in Indiana. We're going to go over some more points that have not been talked about. Are you all going? Is everyone going? Can you invite us? Is there, is there room? Uh, Mr. President, can I ask one more on the NFL story? Because I know this is something you've been talking about a lot. You said back here in Charlottesville that those folks had the right to protest. Why doesn't Colin Kaepernick have his First Amendment rights? I think the NFL is in a box. I think they're in a really bad box. You look at what's happening with their ratings, you look at what's going. I mean, frankly, the only thing that's doing well in the NFL is the pregame because everybody wants to see what's going on. The NFL is in a very bad box. You cannot have people disrespecting our national anthem, our flag, our country, and that's what they're doing. And in my opinion, the NFL has to change. Or you know what's going to happen? Their business is going to go to hell. First Amendment, do you oppose the First no, not at all. No, no. We have to respect our national anthem. We have to respect our country. And they're not respecting our country. And most importantly, the fans agree with me. I mean, largely the fans agree. But we have to show total respect for our national anthem, for our flag, for our country. We have to do it. And you can, there are plenty of places, and there are plenty, personally, when they're protesting during a football game, I think they can find better places, but they cannot do it during the national anthem. Okay? Uh, I am going to see, I'm looking at that very closely, I am not happy with it. I will tell you, I am not happy with it.